I remember reading about that and thinking, it's the idea that matters. It didn't matter where you come from or what your background is. One revolutionary idea, one brilliant invention can unleash other entrepreneurs to revolutionize industries in ways you could never predict. The people who build the transistor in many ways enable the entrepreneurs who are using incredible processing power to analyze data and diagnose cancer. Like you, my dad is from South India. He is an alumnus of IIT and immigrated here about 30 years ago with grit and determination. He's right here in the audience. <laughs> He's a role model for me, and so are you. So truly, thank you for being here. I am the happiest when. Uh, many things, but you know, being around uh, people building products and solving problems, uh, you know, still something that makes me very happy. And finally, the best piece of leadership advice I've received is. You know, be authentic to yourself and, and be the best leader you can be. I think there's no one right template and don't try to be uh, in someone else's mold. It's wonderful. Sundar, thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure. The biggest risk uh, with AI may be failing to work on it and make more progress with it because it can impact uh, billions of people. To me, you know, nature at a fundamental level uh, works in a quantum way. You know, at a subatomic level, things can exist in many different states at the same time. Classical computers work in ones and zeros. So we know that's an imperfect way uh, to simulate nature. Nature works differently. So what's exciting about quantum computing and why we are so excited about the possibilities is It'll allow us to understand the world in a deeper way. We can simulate nature better. So that means simulating molecular structures. So maybe we can discover better drugs. Understanding climate in a deeper way so that we can predict weather patterns and tackle climate change. We can design better batteries. Nitrogen fixation, which is the process by which we make the world's fertilizers, accounts for 2% of carbon emissions. And the process hasn't changed in a long time because it's very complicated. Quantum computers one day allows us the hope that we can make that process more efficient. So it's very profound. We've all been dealing in technology with the end of Moore's law. Uh, you know, it's re really revolutionized the past 40 years, but it's leveled off. So when I look at the future and say, how do we drive improvements? Quantum would be one of the tools in our arsenal uh, by which we can keep something like Moore's Law continuing to evolve. So the potential is huge and, you know, we'll have challenges. You know, in a five to ten year time frame, quantum computing will break encryption as we know it today. But, you know, we can, we can work around it. We need to do quantum encryption. Uh, so there are challenges, as always, with any evolving technology. But I think the combination of AI and quantum will help us tackle some of the biggest problems we see. You will make the world better in your own way, even if you don't know exactly how. The important thing is to be open-minded so that you can find what you love. For me, it was technology. The more access my family had to technology, the better our lives got. So when I graduated, I knew I wanted to do something to bring technology to as many others as possible. At the time, I thought I could achieve this by building better semiconductors. I mean, what could be more exciting than that? My father spent the equivalent of a year's salary on my plane ticket to the US so I could attend Stanford. It was my first time ever on a plane. But when I eventually landed in California, things weren't as I had imagined. America was expensive. A phone call back home was more than $2 a minute and a backpack costs the same as my dad's monthly salary in India. And for all the talk about the warm California beaches, that water was freezing cold. On top of all that, I miss my family, my friends, and my girlfriend, now my wife, back in India. The only thing that got me from there to here, other than luck, 
with a deep passion for technology and an open mind. So take the time to find the thing that excites you more than anything else in the world. Not the thing your parents want you to do, or the thing that all your friends are doing, or that society expects of you. I know you're getting a lot of advice today, so let me leave you with mine. Be open, be impatient, be hopeful. If you can do that, history will remember the class of 2020, not for what you lost, but for what you changed. You have the chance to change everything. I'm optimistic you will. Thank you.